Joining us from Halifax right now, good morning to you. Trying to keep warm outside, but it's a special weekend for hockey. Tell us all about it. You know what? It's all relative. So, yes, it may be warmer where you are, but we're celebrating all things winter, getting ready for Scotiabank Hockey Day in Canada. I just want to show you something very quickly off the top, Riaz. The, our crew are blocking the wind because it's very blustery. So this is this is what they do, our intrepid crew. So I want to thank these guys for standing here. Um, and I'm here at the Oval in uh, the center of Halifax. So this is a place, it's free for uh, people to, to come and, and get their skate on. A whole bunch of schools here today. Uh, and the festivities for Scotiabank Hockey Day kicked off on Wednesday night. There was a fun game of shinny between Team Ron McLean and Team Wendell Clark. I think the final score was 8-7 for Team Ron McLean. So a lot of fun, a lot of musicians on the ice, Dave Bedini and, and all his friends, a lot of alumni, Darcy Tuckler and, and of course Wendell Clark. And then last Last night, we uh, celebrated with a big concert, and this is something that they've been doing every year. It's called Stolen from a Hockey Card, and this was created by Dave Bedini from the Rio Statics. And what he does is he assembles his uh, famous friends, his musician friends, and asks them to write a song based on hockey, their experiences or their love of the game. They perform that, and then they perform one of their other original songs. So I uh, had the great pleasure of being a part of that. I sang a Maple Leafs uh, song, kind of a Maple Leafs lament as it were, with the Bedini band. Uh, Corb Lund was there, the Barra McNeils were there, Miranda Mulholland was there. And Theo Fleury, Riaz, I don't know if you knew this, um, he's been working on an album for the last few years, uh, just about ready to go with that. I had never heard him play live. He's got this nice, robust country voice in his songs, as everything does with Theo, come right from his heart. So that was a big highlight. The Stanley Cup was there, a whole bunch of NHL alumni kicking about the city right now. Guy Carboneau is here, Lanny McDonald is here, Wendell Clark, Darcy Tucker, Mark Napier. The list goes on and uh, and it all in celebration of Scotiabank Hockey Day in Canada which happens tomorrow and Tara you know you've been uh, on the tour with Rogers hometown hockey we've got a, a sense of the community city by city you go to you've got all the kids behind you so can you round them all up and give them their chance on camera and have them all just scream hi mom because this is what it's all about <laughs> You know, I had no idea this was actually happening because I have no peripheral vision right now. Hey guys, okay, so our host in Vancouver, I'm talking to BT Vancouver, and he wants you guys to say hi mom. On a count of three, can you do that for me? One, two, three. Hi mom! And these kids love hockey. Where's our little Max Pacioretty fan? Are you guys excited for Scotiabank Hockey Day in Canada? Yeah! And I think I forgot to mention, Riaz, this is my hometown. This is it. You've got roots. You've got the musical uh, assortment going on. Uh, we're going to follow you this weekend, Tara. Thanks so much. Uh, Scotiabank Hockey Day in Canada. Going to be exciting. Thanks, Riaz. See, See you later. later. She was frozen there for a second. It's so cold over there in Halifax. Here's the board. If you want to see some uh, hockey, a lot of great games on the slate. See uh, right there on City, 4 p.m., the Winnipeg Jets taking on the Red Wings. And then Canucks and Flames in action, 7 p.m., Hockey Night in Canada, the big game. So going to be exciting to watch all seven Canadian teams in action. And